cranberry juice. There is no additives, no preservatives, and no sugar into this. This is pure elderberry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my heat on to medium. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to pour the elderberry juice in. Now while this is going to be warming up, I'm going to take ginger and I'm going to put a few slices of ginger into it. Now if you don't have ginger, what you can do is you can uh, use uh, some um, crushed ginger. These are freeze dried or you can use ginger powder. It is completely up to you. Also what we're going to have here is some cinnamon sticks. And if you don't have some cinnamon sticks, you can actually use a teaspoon of cinnamon powder or you can do one fourth a teaspoon. Um, it's up to you how much flavor of cinnamon you like and how much you would like to um, have into your end product. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply throw two of these in. I like cinnamon. So I'm going to let this brew. Look at the colors. This is actually so beautiful. Um, I'm going to let that brew while I'm slicing up some ginger. So the great thing about this is what you want to do is blend all the flavors and then you want to kind of just let it simmer down, evaporate a little bit because we're going to add honey to it. So we want to extract any of, um, you want to bring down the liquid. So by maybe 30 minutes of just, um, medium heat at first until you start to see it kind of like almost boil and then you bring it down to a low and just let it simmer for about half an hour. Now I'm just chopping up some ginger here. And you could put as many slices as you would like in. So I'm just adding that in. That's fine for me. So at this point, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it down to a nice simmer. Stirring once in a while. Look at the color. So we're about to finish off the elderberry syrup. My battery died unfortunately, so um, what I did was I did strain it and um, from the full cup that I had of elderberry juice, we're just underneath a half a cup. So it did simmer down uh, until about this amount or you can do half a cup depending on the texture you like, okay? So you can experiment to see what you like to do. Now, what I'm going to do is um, get a funnel and I'm going to pour in the elderberry cooled down to about room temperature and that's important. You want your elderberry to be nice and cool and so this way here, when it mixes with the honey, it's not hot. It doesn't damage the honey at all. Now it's good to every little last drop, so we're just going to try to shake it out of there. Now we're going to add the honey. I'm going to give that, let that go down. Well, how easy was that? Simply just take the juice, put it in a pot, bring it up to a medium boil, and then as soon as it does, bring it right back down, add your, your herbs and spices that you want into it. Let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then um, keep an eye on it. You don't want it to evaporate too fast. And then what you want to do is strain it off, let it cool down, and add your honey. Now you're going to keep this in your fridge, so if you want to take it daily or you want to add it to your tea, 
If you're a tea drinker, you could just take a teaspoon of it and just add it into your tea. You've got that nice uh, cinnamon and ginger uh, elderberry flavor. You're going to love it and it gives you that little bit of boost that you need. Well, if you like this video, I hope you join me on my journey and subscribe. See you next time.